Problems are inevitable in any process, and root cause refers to the source of a problem. It is the origin or primary factor that has caused a particular problem to occur, and is usually identified through problem-solving methods such as root cause analysis. The goal of finding the root cause is to identify the fundamental problem that needs to be addressed in order to prevent similar issues from occurring in the future. There are several methods and approaches used in root cause analysis. In this video, we'll discuss the most commonly used problem-solving methods, which are YY and Fishbone. The YY or 5Y is a problem-solving technique used to uncover the root cause of an issue by repeatedly asking the question "Why." The idea is to keep asking "Why" until the root cause of the problem has been identified. The process typically involves asking the question "Why" five times, although the exact number can vary depending on the situation. The 5Y can be used in a variety of situations, from troubleshooting technical issues to solving business problems. We'll have better understanding of 5Y with an example. For instance, there is a problem of assembly line halt. Now asking. Why has the assembly line come to a halt? Because one of the machine is not working. Again asking, why is the machine not working? Because a component has broken. Again asking, why has the component broken? Because the component was not designed to withstand the stress it was subjected to. Why was the component not designed to withstand the stress? Because the design specification was not appropriate. Why was the design specification not appropriate? Because the design team did not consult the manufacturing team before finalizing the specification. This is how we can address the root cause of the problem using YY analysis. For simple problems with a straightforward root cause, the 5Y technique can be a quick and efficient way to identify the root cause. But if the problem is more complex with multiple potential causes, then the Ishikawa diagram may be a better choice. The Ishikawa diagram provides a visual representation of potential causes and allows for a more comprehensive examination of the problem, making it ideal for more complex problem that requires a more in-depth analysis. The Ishikawa diagram, also known as Fishbone diagram or a cause and effect diagram. The diagram is named after Keiru Ishikawa, a Japanese quality control statistician who first introduced the technique in the 1960s. The Ishikawa diagram represents the problem as the head of a fish skeleton with the branches of the skeleton representing the potential causes of the problem. The causes can be broken down into smaller sub causes creating a comprehensive view of the problem and its potential causes. There are four steps to create Ishikawa diagram. In the first step clearly define the problem that needs to be analyzed. Second step is to determine the main categories that may contribute to the problem such as man, material, machine, method, environment. To remember these major categories, we can call them 5M. In the third step, each category is brainstormed. For this, it is important to involve relevant stakeholders in the process to ensure a comprehensive view of the problem and its potential causes. In the final step, the root cause is investigated. Here is an example of Ishikawa diagram for analyzing the root cause of customer complaint about the thick layer of paint on car's body. Starting with clearly defining the problem that is paint coating is too thick. Draw a horizontal line representing the spine of a fish. Draw branches from the main spine to represent the main categories. Identify specific causes within each category and write them as sub branches. For example, in material category, we can consider poor quality paint or old primer. In method category, we can consider improper surface preparation or incorrect painting techniques. Similarly, in machine category, it could be dirty paint booth, worn out spray gun, inadequate pressure. For the environment category, it could be high humidity, extreme temperature. Similarly, for men, it could be inadequate training, lack of supervision. After writing down all possible causes, it's time to review and analyze the causes. As new information is uncovered, refine the diagram by adding or removing causes as necessary. Use the information gathered from the Ishikawa diagram to identify the root cause of the problem. In this case, it may be a combination of factors such as poor paint quality, improper surface preparation, and dirty paint booth. This is how the Ishikawa diagram can be used to guide the problem-solving process 
allowing the team to focus on the most likely causes of the problem and to determine the best solution. We hope this video will help you to solve the problem at your workplace using root cause analysis.